Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news overnight is a tornado that has torn through the city of Grand Blanc just in less than an hour north of us, leaving a path of destruction. Thousands of people without power. Gas lines have been cut. Yeah. Uh, and we do want to keep you updated on what's happening there on the ground. Many people live there or know and have family there. And historic on the other side of this because only the second tornado ever hit in Michigan in the month of February for southeast Michigan, I should say, in that tornado part of the same line of severe storms that were moving through overnight that we'd been forecasting. Nick's on the ground in Grand Blanc, uh, as you've been all morning, Nick, and uh, we're the daylight now, well, and now this heavy wind really showing what's going on out there. Yeah, the winds are really whipping up, and we've got some rain going on as well, which is making this a even more miserable process for the utility workers and the crews that will be trying to clean up this mess. You can see this industrial building behind me. Now that the sun is up, you get a much better idea of just how devastating this tornado was just to that building alone. This happening at about 1.20 this morning. So you've got this building that was just, uh, again, demolished. You've got power poles and power lines that are lying all over the road. You've got utility crews over here on the right hand side that are showing up to start working on more of these lines, more power poles that are snapped up. You can easily see uh, that wind that is just blowing rain and whipping it against those trucks and the workers that are going to be out here. That is going to be a much bigger problem as the day progresses because temperatures will be dropping as well. Now here's the good news. As of right now, there are no injuries reported because of this tornado. We have been told that a subdivision in Grand Lake City, northeast of here, was kind of hit by this tornado, but minor damage to homes. And again, nobody was actually hurt. It seems like this intersection right here at Dort Highway in Reed is the worst hit and the worst affected. And again, by looking at the building, you can really see that much better once the sun is up. That is a storage facility where they keep a lot of materials in there. And you can see walls just gone. We can see right inside of that building that is going to be a massive repair to get that put back together again if honestly if they even can as far as road closures go you've got dort highway that is shut down from hill all the way to Glen, uh, grand blank road you've got uh porter is closed you've got a few more on uh, the east side of dort highway as well so if anybody is coming through this area south of flint you're going to want to do a little bit of research and understand what is open because Dort Highway, Jason Aranda, is a major thoroughfare coming through this area. With it being shut down, traffic will also be an issue. Uh, and actually, one more thing to talk about here. Again, the, you can see the, the wind and the rain is really going to hamper things as the crews go throughout the day today. And the temperatures as those drop today will also cause a problem. You know, Nick, before you even said that, I was thinking, I wish we could put a side by side of your shot right around 5 a.m. to now. I mean, he had a vest on. It was mild, was not windy. And now, you know, bundled up, winds whipping. And of course, it's just miserable out there. So you have to think of the crews. They have a lot of work ahead of them today for sure. Um, hopefully for the folks up there, they were able to get the proper alerts throughout the overnight because that's when severe weather can be scary as while well you're sleeping. And of course, you get those alerts with our forewarned weather app that's for free. The other great part about our exact track 4D technology is we can pick up debris as it's happening minute by minute, second by second. And this is the debris ball that was happening at 1:19 a.m. as the tornado touched the ground. And that's how we can confirm via radar that a tornado did happen and National Weather Service confirming that as well. We just have to wait as those crews survey the scene and that damage to see just how strong the tornado was. But that makes um, that the second tornado ever on record in the month of February in southeast Michigan. That's how rare that is for this time of year. Clouds and radar showing that we had more of that severe weather down to the south throughout the morning, so from 5 o'clock onward, but that was mainly into Ohio, but we still have some severe storms pushing through portions of Kentucky. I want to bring it back close to home, though, because what's heading our way will be the snow shower, so you see a little bit of rain that was impacting um, Nick as we were speaking, but we have those snow showers that will continue to fill in as we head throughout the day. And one more heads up that wind advisory currently in effect until seven o'clock this evening. Tumbling, tumbling temperatures throughout the day. One more details in your full forecast.